Confession number one. Johnny goes on the record about reports his alleged out-of-control spending habits have left him broke. Quote, my son had to hear about how his old man lost all his money from kids at school. That's not right. The actor suing his former management company, TMG, claiming they mishandled his money. TMG has countersued, alleging Johnny dug his own financial grave by spending on extravagant luxuries like wine worth thousands of dollars, to which Johnny says, It's insulting to say I spent 30000 on wine because it was far more. And he even addresses TMG's claims he hired a sound engineer to feed him lines through an earpiece on the latest Pirates of the Caribbean film. Could someone explain to me as to why I'm here? Johnny confirms this to be true, claiming it helped him act with just his eyes. Quote, it had to be behind the eyes. And my feeling is that if there's no truth behind the eyes, doesn't matter what the effing words are. Confession number two. Johnny says amidst his divorce with Amber Heard, who claimed he physically abused her during their marriage, he became depressed, inspiring him to write a memoir on an old typewriter. Quote, I poured myself a vodka in the morning. I started writing until the tears filled my eyes and I couldn't see the pages anymore. I kept trying to figure out what I'd done to deserve this. I tried being kind to everyone, helping everyone, being truthful to everyone. Confession number three. Johnny gets candid about his drinking, smoking, and drug use. The writer of the article says upon first meeting Johnny, the actor was about to smoke hash but decided on wine first. The interviewer says it led to a 72-hour bender. The profile also has Johnny recalling his time with his late good friend writer Hunter S. Thompson, confessing he misses the bootleg quaaludes they used. The lengthy interview ends with Johnny telling the writer, quote, This could be your Pulitzer. Thank you for listening.